guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in Adobe Photoshop and I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to create a glass looking text effect. So as you see here, I have a nice uh, water droplet background and I have some glass text effect on top of that background. Now, there are a few steps you'll need to do to go ahead and accomplish this, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, walk you through that now. So you can go ahead and get a, uh, a background like this wherever you want to uh, and load it up in Photoshop, or you can use a background of your choice. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do, obviously, is go ahead and grab your text tool, okay? Once you have selected your text tool, what you want to do is you want to draw out a text box, and you want your text to be big. Uh, I've chosen 300. 115 points uh, just to make it visible uh, but you can make it smaller or bigger depending on your usage so I have chosen a nice bold strong font uh, called Franklin Gothic medium you can choose whatever you want uh, let's try a different one here let's try this font here uh, and then go ahead and type out whatever you want to type out now what I will tell you is if your text is too big to begin with, obviously you're going to need to go ahead and change that down. Uh, different fonts will require you to use different size fonts. So go ahead and play around with that until you get the size that you want. And once you've done that, you want to then change the color of that font to a white color, a bright white color so you can see it. So go ahead and choose a bright white color for your font. Once you have done that, you then can go in and readjust the size of your text box. And then once you're done there, go ahead and hit the check mark and you are good to go. Now I'm going to go to up here and I'm going to drag my text right here in the center of my document. Now, what I will do now is I'm going to be applying a series of layer effects or blending options to the text. Uh, and I will walk you through each of those to go ahead and get the glass effect. So what we're going to want to do first is go ahead and right click or control click on the layer which includes the text and click on blending options. Once you are here you will then see your layer styling sheet here and the first one that we're going to work with is our drop shadow. We're going to apply a drop shadow and we're going to increase the opacity to 95%. Our angle, we then want to set to negative 65, okay? So we got opacity at 95% and our angle at negative 65. Our distance, we're going to leave at 5, our spread at 0, and our size is going to be 15. Now, once we've done all of this, we then want to move over to our inner shadow. Now, under inner shadow, what you want to do is you want to make sure your blend mode is set to multiply. It should already be there. Once you've done that, you want to change that color to be a light white color, uh, so maybe a little darker than the one you've chosen before, but you don't want to get any red in there, so go ahead and choose a nice white color uh, for that. It really doesn't matter. You can play around with this and kind of do it the way you want to do it. Click OK. Once you have done that, you then want to change the angle to negative 65 if it is not already there, and you want to keep the check mark right by Use Global Light. Now our distance, we want to change the distance to 8, we want to change the choke to 12, and we want to change the size to 5. Okay, once we have done that, we are now done with inner shadow, and we're going to move to inner glow. Once we are under inner glow, our blend mode needs to be set to screen, our opacity at 75%, okay? And now we need to go in here and change our color. Now the color here really, it does matter. You need to select a light blue color. Uh, I prefer, you know, something that is, I'm, you know, play around with it and see which gives you the best effect. I'm going to choose that light blue color there. Uh, the number for that is A3D1EC. Again, you can play around with it and get your desired effect. Once we have that set to our nice light blue color, we then want to make sure our technique is set to softer, our choke is zero, and our size is going to be up to 28 pixels, okay? Once we have done that, make sure that anti-alias is checked right down here under quality, and then we are now done with inner glow. We now want to move on down to bevel and emboss. Under bevel and emboss, you want to make sure it is a inner bevel style that the technique is smooth and the depth is at 100%. The size will need to be set to 4 and the soften will need to be set to 2. 
After you've done that, go down here to shading and make sure the angle is negative 65 and the altitude is negative 27 or 28. Uh, go ahead and make sure anti-alias is checked once again. And then we want to change our gloss contour. Click on the down arrow here. And we want to change that. If you hover over, it'll be the third one from the right on the bottom row. It is called rolling slope descending. Click on that one. And then go ahead and click off. Once we've done that, we are now done with bevel and emboss. We now want to go and change our satin settings. So go ahead. Oh, I have sorry there so what we want to do is this altitude needs to be set to 27 I apologize not negative 27 we want to now go to our satin settings here and once we are under satin we want to change this color to a very specific color the color we're looking for is 006 F C E okay it is a nice blue color and then click OK once we have done that we then want to change the opacity down to 50% we want our angle to be 19 degrees. Our distance will now be changed to 35. Our size will be up to 65. Once we have done that, we are done with satin and we are going to our last layer style, which will be at the bottom here and it is stroke. Under stroke, we want the size of the stroke to be two, okay? So the size of that stroke will be two. We want it to be soft light as our blend mode. So go ahead and scroll down until you see soft light. Once you have done that, our opacity needs to be then changed to 55%. And then once we do that, we need to change our fill type to a gradient. Once your fill type is changed over to gradient, you can leave all of this the same and you now can click OK. Now there is one more step to uh, achieve the glass effect. So what we're gonna wanna do now is bring over our layer panel, make sure our text layer is selected, and under the fill option up here in the top right hand corner, we wanna take that fill all the way down to zero, okay? And then go ahead and drag the layer panel out of the way and you now have a nice transparent glass looking text effect again you can't see it that well within this background but you can kind of see the effect over here a little better so guys this is how you accomplish a nice glass text effect within Photoshop by applying these various layer styling to your text if you have any questions put them in the comment box below I'll be more than happy to help you out don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if this video helped you and don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. It does help me out, and I will see you guys next time.